I got a laser that can cut steel. And not only can I freehand things, I can put it into a CNC bed and precisely cut digital files. This is the X-Tool Metal Fab, and it's kind of in between professional manufacturing and DIY tools. I'm using it to develop products. And the first one is a modular flower pot hanger so that you can use off-the-shelf terracotta pots to make living walls in your home. To me, it doesn't make sense to do a full review when you're just unboxing a tool. I mean, you need some time with it to really figure out what's good and bad. So I'm judging this tool by how quickly I can produce my first product. And the goal is to have the first line of prototypes on the very first day of unboxing. The X-Tool Metal Fab is a serious investment. And that's why I think it's really cool that they offer support from a technician if you need some help setting it up. It's all based around a laser that can cut all sorts of metals, connect to a wire feed so you can weld, and even do some other cool things like rust removal and stuff like that. The laser can be used as a handheld cutting tool, and I find this handy for breaking down 4x4 sheets of steel into 24x24 24 24 inch pieces that fit nicely into the CNC bed. This is where I intend on using this machine the most, because I can precisely and quickly cut steel parts up to 3 eighths of an inch thick. I started with 14 gauge steel, which is about a 16th of an inch thick, and it cut out this first run of prototypes in just about 3 minutes. The pieces really don't require any finishing from here because the cuts are nice and clean. Now I did make some cut lines so it'll be easier to bend the flower pot holders right along those lines. As I put these pieces into production, I'll probably get a hydraulic press break just to make this process a little more efficient. But with metal this thickness, you can just clamp wood or steel around it and get pretty clean bends just by hand. These pieces are strong enough that they don't need reinforcement, but I wanted to try out the laser welding. It's a little different than MIG or TIG welding, which is what I'm more used to, but it comes out real clean. And I think it's cool that you can get one device that does both cutting and welding. Cutting out the first prototypes went really well, so I got right back on the computer and refined the design a little bit so that it would better maximize this 24 by 24 inch cutting bed. The software is quite easy to use, and what I really like is that it automatically knew which shapes to cut out first. Because you see, once you cut things, they fall right through the bed, and then you pull them out of a drawer. So it's nice that I didn't have to program a cutting path to cut the inside shapes out first. I just drew this in Illustrator, exported it as a SVG file, and then loaded it right up into the Xtool software. It all took about three to four minutes. The software is quite good at guiding you through the settings and highlighting what you need to adjust on a machine and tells you right when you're ready to hit the button and start the cut. I was expecting a lot more splatter and slag, especially given how fast this cut file went, but the pieces come out clean and all I really need to do now is bend them and send them to my powder coater. Now you can add more of these support bars, but I like using as few as possible so that most of the pieces fall through to the drawer then you just open that drawer and get your finished parts. Now there's a slot in the side so you can add longer pieces of steel and I like this because it just saves me time on having to cut a bunch of smaller squares and it also gives me bigger pieces of scrap in case I have little smaller more detailed projects and want to use up all the steel. This is my second round of prototypes and they're a lot more material efficient and I really like that I don't have to drill any screw holes for them at all. Did it all with the laser. For bending these I'm using this really dense plywood and I just round it over some edges with my router just so that there's a little bit of a radius when I do the bend. Now I can just clamp the steel in between these one and a half inch thick pieces of plywood and bend my steel. I picked the pieces up from the powder coater, I made them a nice off white, and now I'm ready to do my first install. I wanna screw these through the drywall and into the studs behind, and my studs are 16 inches on center. So I made this really handy jig that has holes that are 16 inches apart. Now I just have to find one stud and then use a level in this jig to mark the holes for three of the pot holders. The basic pot holders are just an L shape, but the bottom row is more of a C shape because I want to hold the saucers. This way when I water the top plants, it'll drain into the plants below, but on the bottom row, the excess water will be captured in the saucer that comes with my terracotta pots. For the upper rows, I only need to two of the wall-mounted hangers, and then I made this sort of three-pack set of rings that spans across, gets locked into place with the terracotta pots, and so we're gonna have that middle plant without drilling more holes into the wall, which is good. Those ones would need drywall anchors. I made these plant holders for six inch terracotta pots that I bought from Home Depot, but the design files only took me about 15 minutes to make in Illustrator, so it'd be pretty easy to make these for just about any size terracotta pots. I like 
the idea of a wall-mounted herb garden, and I think it's really nice that the pots drain into each other. The same set of hardware that I designed would also work on a window. I have several large south-facing windows at my house, and they just screwed the brackets right into the sides because you don't have to mess around with a stud finder or drywall anchors or anything like that. I'll be doing more videos around the X-Tool metal fab, so let me know your questions or ideas for experiments in the comment section below. But for now, so far so good. I was able to get my product design on the first day, and I'm encouraged enough to figure out how to source sheet metals in bulk so that I can ramp up my own in-house manufacturing. All right, thanks. Bye.